Well, hello again. We go on with this game, and um, as I said in the previous video, very weird, uh, small Pangea map. I want to take this southern city before the AI comes here with a boat or something, you know, with an embarked settler. And maybe I will want to take the coast over here as well. The inland is going to be a lot harder for these guys to get there, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so it looks like I have room to, to play as a pacifist, to not conquer any cities. Anyway, this city belongs to Congo, to one of the other Congos. It doesn't belong to Gandhi, so... Uh, oops, no, I don't want to do that. Stop that. Okay, so um, yeah, I cannot stop uh, Gandhi from spreading his religion with war because he's not close enough. I have, I don't even know where Congo is, I have no idea. I will eventually have to buy open borders from this guy. Not yet though, I don't, I don't have a lot of money right now. But I will eventually have to buy open borders. Um, yeah, maybe next era so I can use those points from meeting people to, to get to a normal age as well. The next era or maybe even a golden age, I don't know. But... Um, yeah, I definitely won't want to have Dark Ages from now on, I think. Anyway, looks like we will have Ivory, we will have Truffles, we already have Marble, quite a lot of Marble actually, and we will have Turtles and Mercury. So Luxuries will not be an issue, that's for sure, that means the Colosseum is probably not so urgent in this game, even though it's always an amazing wonder, one of the best ones. But in this particular game, it looks like we will have quite a lot of luxuries, so uh, it's not going to be absolutely necessary. We met a few city-states. Unfortunately, I took too long to meet these guys up here, and I wasn't first. That that was a shame, really. Plus four culture right now would be doubling the culture that I have. So, uh, yeah, I, I made a mistake there, I guess, not uh, not exploring the north. But at least we managed to boost uh, political philosophy, so that's always good. Um, what else can we say? Well, we're going for bronze working. Let's see if we have iron somewhere around here. And uh, that's about it for now. Let's click next turn. Um, you know what? I will say apologies because I don't think my next city will be so close to his cities anyway. Uh, my next city is going to be here, actually, so it's going to be a lot closer I'm to my city than his. So it legacy, shouldn't be a problem. Because bronze will last for thousands of years. Okay, this is all good. Uh, new housing, yeah, whatever. Oh, we do have iron. That's great. How about the rest of the land? Uh, iron here, iron there. Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. And oh yeah, this fella actually wanted him to come over here and take a look at these barbarians. Make a dedication, yeah, continue. Um, free inquiry, I almost go with free inquiry at first. Plus one era score for Eurekas because at the beginning you will get a lot of Eurekas. Uh, maybe more Eurekas than inspirations, that's why I usually go with free inquiry. Uh, I'm not going to win so many districts right now. And uh, definitely not this one with Congo. Playing, getting this one with Congo would be the stupidest strategy in the history of Civilization VI. So yeah, let's go free inquiry. Okay, good. And let's research stuff that we already have Eurekas, so we don't lose Eurekas. Um, what do I need? What do I need? I'm about to get Mercury. I already have mining. I I don't have sailing actually. Let's get sailing. Uh, we already boosted sailing thanks to building a city on the coast, so that's totally fine. You know what, after I go to another era, uh, Congo will need open borders to go through my land. So at that point maybe I can give them open borders for open borders, but I'm not so sure actually. I, I probably don't want open borders. Let's get another builder here and then, only then, maybe I will go trader and all of this stuff. So let's go and get this right now. I got sailing already, okay, yeah, that was fine. Um, mine, I would like to boost the wheel, that, that would be nice. Currency for sure. 
I don't need either irrigation or astrology anytime soon, right? I mean, plantations, plantations. Uh, there are no bananas here, so there is no tobacco. There is. It doesn't look like I'm going to need plantations anytime soon or at all, actually, in this game. Yeah, I might not need them at all. That's that's interesting. So one, two, three. Okay, I'm not in risk of losing any tiles, but I will have to spend money probably purchasing tiles if I don't want to lose them to this city, which is a bit far for now. So that's that's okay. I can deal with that. Okay, you, my friend, are growing in three. Okay, and then I told you to get some production so we'll, you will probably get this one here that's fine yeah okay so what what do we need here uh, we need currency for sure but we are going to boost it later we are going to need horseback riding of course because it's on the way to apprenticeship uh, and you always want apprenticeship eventually for the industrial zones iron working to get this guy for sure but we're going to boost iron working as well and uh, do i want to go masonry i mean I will want walls in Mbasa Wembo. I just don't know how quickly will I need them. Okay, you know what? Just in case I'm going to go masonry, uh, this guy will eventually attack me. I'm almost certain about it. Okay, let's go next turn. Actually, okay, four turns. Then I will get out of the builder thing probably. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking about doing something different. Sending this archer here and sending this guy to Congo over there and buy open borders from this fella. That will also make him less likely to attack me, which is always nice. Okay, and these guys are going back and I really want this guy to go back before uh, we close the borders, which will happen soon. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is happening, huh? Already? Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, it's just one guy for now. Mm, that could be a problem. You know what? Let's let's go step by step here because Congo could declare war on me any time now. Yeah. I think they're coming for it. Is one of these ones a heal? It is, or yeah, most certainly not. Okay, let's stay here for now. Yeah, housing is uh, the least of my problems right now. Uh, so, yeah, I want to build settlers eventually with this guy's ability. I do not have a lot of troops at all oh this archer was coming here yeah i forgot about him okay yeah that's fine mm -hmm. yeah this guy's Each getting funny ideas Look back over the past, um the thing is though if he's not bringing any archers and you can foresee the future too yeah i'm not going to put the extra production on settlers because it looks like i will have to build troops for now so let's play with this and then here I think I need another archer before Congo attacks I won't have time to build a wall here at all like how many turns is it for a wall? Like 26, yeah, that's not gonna happen uh, Do I want to stay in Builder? Probably Probably yes Okay then, uh, choose research uh, boop, boop, boom. I guess horseback riding is fine for now. Putting a few turns in there, why not? And um, okay, I don't see any more units. I don't see any archers. Um, they don't have the unique unit yet. Um, are they at war with Gandhi? No, they like Gandhi, so that's kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's go political philosophy. Yeah, this, this needs to happen. 
We need the, the settler without losing population for expansion. Okay, so you, my friend, what do we have here? Do I want to chop one of these archers? I might want to chop one of the archers. I would actually like to improve this city. But um, I would have to be like super careful about that. I want to build a mine here, but they will pillage it if I do. So that would be kind of annoying, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this guy will go north. He will just chop the archer and then keep going north. Hopefully not uh, die. Okay, so that's nice. We get more marble, so that's more happiness. <coughs> because I am trading with this guy, if I don't... Uh, remember incorrectly oh man he really does hate me um. okay what's the deal with the, with the luxuries here resources like yeah i do have the truffles so i am trading with him mm -hmm. okay he's not attacking me apparently at least not now so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Nice. You're going to stay here with the archer because you don't want to die. Okay, that's nice. And um, do we want to risk this? Probably not. But yeah, it's still I still have the forest defense thing. So. Let's get a boost with the iron over there. That's going to boost um, iron working and it's going to boost um, the wheel. So, yeah. All of that stuff is nice. Temple of Artemis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your delegation is most welcome. That gives me some money. I could invest into an archer, but it looks like I don't need it yet after all. Yeah, I really don't want this guy to steal my money, though. Okay, let's wait, see what, what this scout is going to do. Here we want to go there. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. You see, if I had killed the spearman, I could have lost the money. And I really didn't want to lose the money. So, also, I didn't kill the spearman. So, let's go here. Get this. Make it, makes it a better tile. And then we're going to get another mine. So, we get some production. That's super nice. Yeah. Boosted the wheel, boosted iron working, so that's a couple of points, obviously, for the era bonus. Uh, we need another 12 at least. We have 32 turns, so that shouldn't be so difficult, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, we are getting two production, one science. Okay, that's uh, not a terrible tile, considering it's desert, you know. Here would be a very good tile for a campus, obviously. So, yeah. Good stuff. And we're going to put a farm over here. Seems like the right thing to do. Boosted machinery. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Ah, because I have a lot of archers. That's why I boosted machinery. Okay, that's nice. So let's go settler. Yeah, let's go settler. This guy has monos, so he has to build the settlers. Uh, okay. So this is all good. This guy doesn't really need to do much. He can just stay here in case Congo attacks, basically. Uh -huh. That's fine. We are going to go here. Okay, there is no enemy units, so there you go. Now I have proper borders, so no one can come into my land and uh, steal my territory, which is nice. Uh, you're going to just stay here, I think. No, actually, you're going to go south, because there is no one south. 
Okay then, and this fella comes here. He's going to build a farm over there. That's truly nice. So if Congo won't attack me, I could go on with my plan of exploring the land, opening borders and stuff. Okay, I mean not opening my borders, but paying him for some open borders. Uh, okay, so we're going to grow even more, that's nice. Um, happiness is totally fine, because I have a couple of luxuries. And we got some money, another couple of points for the era score, so that was good. And now this archer really has nothing to do, so he will... Um, do we need to explore the north over here? It feels like a lot of time. Okay, but it looks like Congo is not going to declare war on me yet. Well, they, they hit me quite a lot, actually. Even though I did nothing to them. The diplomacy in this game, man, is so crazy. Especially early game. It's just absurd. Okay, you. Let's make a deal. What okay, yeah, this is, this is what I wanted. No, I, I, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I could actually give him the horses, you know? Or the iron, because he can build a unique unit without the iron, so it's not going to do anything for him right now, not until uh, the Middle Ages with the knights and all. Um, let me see if I can get like some money here. I'm not going to use the iron right now. Um, I can build my unique unit without it. So, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's get some money. I'm not helping him build new units with that, so it's fine. Let's see if this trade uh, makes him not hate me so much. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. And so what do we have here? Yeah, that's not rude. And this guy has another action, apparently. So... When are we getting those turtles, if you don't mind me asking? In seven turns. How many turns do you get here? Four. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's actually going to happen. Mm. Or I could do something else, like chopping this builder, for example. Also, I don't, I don't really want jungle here, giving these guys a defensive bonus when they attack me. So, I mean, this one is fine because it's going to slow them down. This one not so fine. I mean, it will also slow them down a little bit. But do I want to chop this one? Yes or no? Yes or no? What's another thing to do? Another thing to do would be to chop the settler. Yeah, I'm going to chop a couple of settlers. Yeah, why not? Or chop this one and so the next one also comes a little bit faster. How many cities do you have, my dear enemy? Uh, five cities in total. How about this religious freak? Five cities in total. Okay, so everything is fine for now. <coughs> Sorry about that. So... A man on a horse is spiritually as well. Okay. Okay, so I go to the classical era, which gives me another point. Roads upgraded. I don't have any roads, so, you know. I need to start building trades and stuff. Let's get the wheel right now for the heavy chariot and for the water mill, because I have a couple of cities already in uh, rivers. So, water mill, nice thing to have right now. Okay, there you go. I really need to meet all of those guys who are up there. I mean, up, up there, no, uh, well, out there in the west. And Gandhi is already bringing Hinduism. How are we doing here, guys? How is this race coming? Oh, okay, not, not so terrible yet. Um, let's hope there is balance. I mean, if, if Gandhi gets attacked or if the Khmer get attacked and, and they lose the war, I'm going to be <laughs> in so much trouble if there is no religious balance whatsoever, which could totally happen. This guy will finish the monument, you know what? 
I would like some extra culture right now. Um, or I could actually chop it. Yeah, I'm going to chop that monument so I can go trader immediately. Okay. So he likes people with a lot of troops, and I don't the have a lot of politics troops. Is the art of the um, <laughs> I don't want to go to war right now, so I'm not going to go oligarchy. I think. Person housing, yeah, more great person points, which I'm not generating right now, but uh, whatever. Let's keep the money though. Mm -hmm. This one for now. Production, sure. I want production for settlers, right? This is important at this point, so let's do this. Okay, there we go. Another couple of points. We're already at 25. 30 for the normal, uh, 42 for the golden age, I would need another 17 in 25 turns, which is difficult, but uh, far from impossible. Someone build the Apadana, that's a shame, the Apadana is a, it's a nice wonder, to be honest. Uh, do I want to go with this? Um, I mean, I, if I build this guy, I could go for a golden age, maybe. Or I could have the option open, just in case I want to try to go for a golden age. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Let's go iron working, because building the your unique unit give give you uh, gives you a lot of error points. So you might want to go for that at some point. So we will want the other squares very soon. So going for drama will will need to happen. I'm not planning on building any wonders anytime soon. That being said, we are going on the way to exploration as usual, and uh, military tradition gives me flanking. It's already boosted, I mean, why not? Why not? Just in case this guy attacks me, which could still happen. Although we are providing him with, with a bunch of things, so he probably doesn't want to attack me if I'm giving him... Uh, maybe he's only iron? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Shop setter. There you go. Uh, pop, 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 um, another one. Trader in one turn. Trader in one turn is tempting, but let's go settler in six because I want to expand really quickly. This guy goes there. This guy needs to fog bust a little bit. Uh, you, my friend, are chopping the monument. And so now we can go trader here. Eight turns is quite a lot. But I don't really have a lot of better options right now. We could totally build the farm over there. Mm -hmm. Hinduism keeps expanding over here. Oh, come on, you stop that. I only have. 30 turns in total with the open borders in order to explore. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh, I cannot build a lumber mill yet. I will definitely build a lumber mill over there. I'm growing here, which is kind of useless actually. This is a hill, so I could chop here in order to build. Um, to eventually build a mine or I could chop the rainforest over there for something whatever I don't I don't know what or I could just go down to my new city and get the mercury like immediately or maybe even a farm just to grow um, the mercury first or the farm first that's a good question I think I'm going to go I mean, Mercury could give me some extra happiness, which I don't exactly need right now. I will need it eventually, just not yet. So I'm going to go for the farm first, so this city can grow immediately. I don't That's underrate really nice. the value of military. Can I remove the settler thing? Um, I think I think not yet. Nah, four turns, not yet. So we want to go this side, and we also want to go drama, but which one first? 
I could also get a revolution in five, get an envoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no, no, award an envoy. That's nice. For any one of these, I need games and recreation first. So I'm going to go drama and poetry first. This is going to take twelve turns. So I'm actually I'm thinking about getting out of this right now because after the second set I will wait a little bit until the next one. Mm, maybe reduce the cost of purchasing tiles. That could be interesting. Right now. Yeah, we're going to go this. And so we can do stuff like removing the, the marble from these guys. You know. Yeah, that's fine. Just in case. Probably not exactly necessary. I mean, they were still far away. Okay, this is freaking annoying me right now. Stop blocking me. This this freaking one tile per turn system, man, it's just so annoying with those traffic jams. It's Anyway, okay, we have another builder, that's always nice. Oh yeah, we're going to get turtles, so we are going to get Luxuis. We don't need that Mercury yet. Um, this guy could totally get Government Plaza. Absolutely. Uh, he could also get Ancient Walls, and you know, let's be let's be uh, um, careful with that stuff because they will attack me. Eventually, it will happen. I know it will happen. I don't know exactly when, but it will definitely happen. So, okay, you can do this. There you go. And so, yeah, we're going to lock that. Why not? Gives me food and one production. So, even though it doesn't give me science, I don't exactly need that science right now. Mm -hmm. I need to start building these tricks though. I'm taking it a bit too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, okay, that's it. That's the end of the continent. Gotcha. And Kumas is pretty much at the end of the continent as well. Still, you could place a city up here, so I have plenty of room. Mm. Do we want another extra marble to just sell it to Gandhi? I think I do. I want the money. I mean, does Gandhi have marble? He does. Well, that sucks. Uh, I could go down here up a campus where, where am i going to put the campus here maybe it looks like i want this tile to put a campus there i am going to get it but it's going to take 23 turns so maybe i can purchase a monument here first uh, which is not going to be that fast actually anyway so this is what two actions yeah two actions i can uh, chop this and build a mine or chop this and build a mine This guy is going to grow in 14, so it's not going to need more tiles just yet. I could also chop the walls, which I'm going to do. You know what? Yeah, let's chop the walls. I mean, look at all of those chariots up there. That's risky. And if you have walls, the AI usually has no idea how to attack. You know, they don't know how to use the battering ram or siege tower properly you know they kind of suck at that so yeah it was a very nice continent yeah this is fine or actually do s s no i can get here okay let, let's see what happens basically okay that's fine so Hong Kong is annoying me a little bit with the traffic jams with their units, but that's Everything going to stop. 
when my culture expands. I lost this tile to Hong Kong. That's super annoying. I will have to purchase a bunch of tiles here so I don't lose them to Hong Kong. Okay, wait a second. This fella can leave and then I can go here. Okay, that's fine. And so do, 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 do. I got iron working. How many turns until I get my trader? One turn. Okay, so I can uh, safely go into currency because I will boost it very very soon. Okay, that's that's acceptable, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's going to be enough room for another city north of Kumasi. They want open borders. I don't want to give them open borders, so definitely not that. I don't need the horses, though. I'm happy to give you this. Yeah. Cool. So, what's the happiness situation right now? Happiness, yeah. So, resources. Okay, somehow Gandhi decided to buy my my marble, which is weird. Okay. And this guy already okay. I don't know why Marby bought Gandhi bought my marble. I thought he had some of his own, but anyway, we're going to get more. Uh do I need to go monument first? It looks like I do. So let's do that. Uh, you my friend, you can do a bunch of things. I like a very nice campus up here. Boom, there you go. I need to start getting those districts up. Okay, so I'm going to start sending envoys over there. Um, I don't know which one was, I don't remember which one has the nice um, suzerain bonus. Uh, to no. This is not too bad, actually, if you're going for, especially for cultural victories. So Antanarivo might be okay. I'm not very excited about this one, because I don't usually send a lot of trade routes to the um, city-states. Okay, so next city. Uh, this coast, it looks like it needs to be this one. That being said, though, where exactly? Like, let me, let me take a quick look here. This old desert, so that's the problem, right? Well, the, the oasis has some food here because this spot could be nice for the ivory and you know that stuff. It has it has the oasis, so it has uh, fresh water. I could also settle here and eventually settle just another city up here, like one, one, two, three, four. But this is too close to Kumasi, so maybe not. Maybe up here would be doable. That being said, will these guys get to this coast soon enough to try to steal it from me? Well, maybe. Maybe they will. Because I would very much prefer to go this side, you know. But I really need to block them. So here I have this food and this food, which isn't so much food to begin with, but anyway, it's um, something. So much desert, man, it's really not great. Um, this would give me production, but if I go up here, then it's going to be harder. One, two, three, four. I could still settle there, though, if I go here. Okay, I will go there. I want to go... as far north as possible just to really really block those guys from trying to steal my continent and then this fella wait let's build this city we build this oh no you you are seriously going to make me lose a full turn <sighs> this bloody traffic jams man this bloody traffic jams i wanted to build that city right there right now i cannot believe this Jesus you got to be shitting me 
holy fuck I wanted to send this trader here to the new city and send a trade route all the way to the capital so this city grows faster gets extra production and also I build a huge road and that was that was a brilliant idea but now I cannot do it so that sucks big time I have to wait one turn uh, and just because there is a bloody traffic jam oh man that's so annoying Congo is expanding okay good they expanded somewhere far from my continent so I'm very happy about that okay let's do that there you go and then suddenly yeah everybody's happy I guess uh, no I have two of these so um, so I guess my treaty with this guy was over yeah no never mind maybe I, I meet someone else later okay finally Jesus okay there you go this guy pretty much has to build a monument there is really no way around it I need culture here um, that being said I'm, I'm going to purchase those tiles so you know and I might even purchase that, this one here yeah this one will will be purchased as well so maybe I don't exactly need a monument here maybe I can go with just a builder by the time the builder is done I will have more population so you know that's fine and I can build a mine over there get some extra luxuries uh, okay you go here thank you very much and this guy is going to deal with the barbarians down south get me some extra money as well that's nice okay seriously where is everybody else where is everybody else come on man show you Congos and Khmer and everybody show yourself uh, this is actually quite nice but I want the food so and I want the long road basically so boom there you go boosted currency that's another point so I have 15 turns to get uh, four points which should be easy not so easy anymore to get all the way here 16 points so unless of course I build my unique unit I think I am going to build my unique unit just to secure the normal age basically okay let's do this and uh, this and that sure wow there is a lot of land that that is just ridiculous there is so much land so much empty land and this this map generator is crazy what was that oh look at that how about this that's super nice okay wait this is a hill it is absolutely not a hill so this guy is going to attack me that's not so nice <laughs> um hmm. well whatever doesn't really matter oh wait this is this is actually Gandhi no this is Congo this is Gandhi. that's fine if it does not bring okay so we got currency we boosted engineering I think that's because we got the the wall right yeah we built ancient walls um are we going apprenticeship already or do I want to go machinery because I can build a few lumber mills in this game so that could be nice I'm probably going to go for cultural victory but still apprenticeship is always you know plus one production in the mines and so on build three mines I can easily boost this so let's go here um, mm -hmm. I need to boost it in like 10 turns yeah I think this builder will come faster because the next tile I get will give me production so I will get this builder in less than 14 turns then I will build a mine here and I already have two mines so that's going to be the third one and I'm going to boost apprenticeship yeah uh, before I reach half of it so that's fine that's totally fine okay I really would like to get this tile naturally I have a bunch of tiles here that are not improved so let's get another builder for now and then we'll think about what to do next 
Um, yep, we're going to get some extra culture here. Okay, so all is well that ends well. Oh no, this, this land ends here, but we actually have room for more cities. You know what? I will build so many settlers in this game, like so many. Okay, so Gandhi's over here. I have no idea where everybody else is. These guys are coming for me. Okay, I think that's safe enough. And the next turn is going to happen uh, on the next video, because this has been enough for now. I think the plan is clear. We're going for our first campus. We got all of this lined of the, of the continent, so they cannot steal it from us. I will later expand over here next to my capital. Uh, I can put like two or three cities on this coast, actually, maybe three cities. And then we will go here and there if we still have time. I don't know about this part. I think they will take it from me, but here for sure. So yeah, I can I can put eight cities, nine, maybe ten cities here peacefully. That's crazy, but it looks like it's going to happen. And then let's see what happens with you know stuff like great people and so on. They obviously are already getting wow a lot of great merchant points here. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, uh, a great scientist to six already. Wow. And actually, India is leading the great writer point thing. Congo has not built any theater squares, apparently. So that's weird that none of the Congos built any theater squares yet. Anyway, so that's the situation. I need to start building districts to get up in this uh, great people race. And eventually I need to get more promotions here. I will probably want to get this fella to get more science and culture, maybe... I don't know, uh, get this guy like uh, down here maybe for more great people and all of that stuff. I could I could even build a theater square here for, a, for adjacency. I don't think I'm going to build a lot of wonders in this game or any at all actually. Anyway, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. Uh, weird, I didn't expect a peaceful game. Uh, I didn't expect to not meet so many people by turn 74. I need these three points. Um, do I want to build my unique unit to try to go for a golden age? Uh, pff, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I will, I will decide that uh, on the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.